Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the blacklight retribution launcher problem. I was personally able to fix it. The problem is the launcher won't show you the play button and the launcher won't patch the game even though it's outdated. So, if you already have the game before it was published on Steam, what you have to do first is create a Steam account if you already don't have one. And if you do, you're gonna have to cut the folder of the game and paste it in Steam's folder as I'm going to show you. The reason I'm saying that is because I've read on the forums that there should be a folder called readist inside the game folder and I couldn't find it and when I've added the game to Steam, Steam created that folder. Now before you start anything, make sure Steam is completely closed, then what I want you to do is cut the game folder and go to Steam's folder and then do what I do. Now what you need to do is open the Steam folder, go to Steam apps and then common and paste the games folder here and then you're gonna rename it into black light retribution in one word without spaces and when you're done you're gonna go ahead and uh, open steam and then uh, go ahead and search for black light retribution in the search field and then um, then scroll down and click on the green button which says I don't know like get the game or buy it or like whatever it says. Um, what's gonna happen now is Steam is gonna tell you that it's going to download the game and it's gonna be around 7.7 .7 gigabytes. Don't worry it won't download the, the whole client it's just gonna check if the game is already downloaded so it won't download everything all over again. It'll just download the readest folder and some other stuff. Now when that's over go to the library tab click on play now Steam is going to start installing DirectX and whatnot, and when it's done the launcher will open and if the play button appears or it starts updating then you are done you don't have to continue you don't have to even continue watching the video now if you if you still can't see the play button you're going to go ahead and close the close the launcher and then click on black light retribution icon right click and then press properties go to the local files tab and then press on verify integrity of game cache uh, when that's done try to play the game again try to press play again if the play button appears then you're done um, otherwise if you still can't see it go inside the black light retribution folder and go inside the read dust folder now you will be able to see all of these files you have, what you have to do is go inside the DirectX folder you're gonna install DX setup it's gonna tell you to restart but don't restart it right now because you need to install the other files go ahead and uh, install .NET FX4 um, it might tell you to repair or uninstall just go ahead and repair it and when it prompts you to restart don't let it restart yet go ahead and install all of the, uh, all of the other files uh, which are PB, PB whatever and physics and VC readers when, th when those are done uh, go ahead and restart your machine I don't need to have to show you to restart but I already showed you never mind and when you're done go ahead and open Steam again and click play even though you've done everything right so far the problem might still be there I've read somewhere on the forums that you need to have Internet Explorer updated go ahead and do that because the launcher uses IE to display everything in the launcher window but if you still can't see the play button um, the only thing you have left to do is you're gonna have to terminate a little rascal called Team Viewer. I can't believe that Team Viewer was the source of the problem for me but apparently it is it was running in the background and it caused and it caused that really annoying problem I don't know why it makes the launcher derp like that but seriously that's how I got the launcher fixed you're gonna right click exit team viewer and now press play and you'll find out that the launcher works when you open the launcher will get the game will start updating and it's gonna take jillions of years to finish that's because I've read somewhere that they have only one server to update the game from and everyone is updating from it so it has a lot of traffic so wait for it leave it overnight or whatever you want and when it's done you're gonna be able to play the game oh by the way guys I've read many other solutions which involved going through the temporary files in Windows and deleting stuff from the application data folder I didn't do any of them because that sounded way too complicated and I sort of thought that there might be something running in the background that prevented the launcher from functioning properly and I instantly thought of TeamViewer 
I don't know why, but I did because months ago I was playing Battlefield 3 and Dirt 3 and they weren't running properly and I googled the problem and some random guy from a random forum said that you should terminate Team Viewer before playing those games and I gave it a go and it seemed to have fixed the problem I don't understand honestly I don't understand how Team Viewer can prevent a launcher from displaying a button or patch a game but it made the problem go away anyway guys thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video and it had helped you to fix the game if you still have questions and or comments leave them in the comments section below I'll try to answer them as soon as possible I have other videos on my channel watch them they're awesome and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video